Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 7th of March 1900, the German ocean liner SS Kaiser Wilhelm der Gross became the first vessel to transmit a ship to shore wireless message. Named after Wilhelm I, the first emperor of the German nation that was created in 1871, SS Kaiser Wilhelm der Gross is regarded as the first superliner and was the first vessel in the world to be fitted with four funnels or stacks. Launched in 1897 by Wilhelm I's grandson, Wilhelm II, Kaiser Wilhelm der Gross established the North German Lloyd Shipping Company as a direct competitor to the British-dominated transatlantic maritime trade. Wilhelm II was particularly enthusiastic about the fact that the ship could easily be converted into an auxiliary military cruiser thanks to the strengthened decks that could accommodate artillery guns in times of conflict. Just a few months after her launch, Kaiser Wilhelm der Gross was awarded the Blue Ribbon Award for the fastest transatlantic crossing usurping the British liner RMS Lucania and firmly establishing Germany as a direct competitor to British maritime dominance. Keen to maintain the ship's reputation for both speed and safety, in 1900 her owners sent her for a refit that included the installation of a commercial wireless telegraphy system by the Marconi Company. Despite the relative infancy of this new technology, Kaiser Wilhelm der Gross conducted a series of demonstrations, making her the first ship to send a ship-to-shore message on the 7th of March. With the outbreak of the First World War in 1914, the ship was requisitioned by the German Navy and fitted with guns as an auxiliary cruiser. Under the command of Captain Ryman, she sank a number of Allied vessels before being defeated herself in the Battle of Rio de Oro, off the North African coast on the 26th of August, 1914.